What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Sports Zone LA, the channel for all things Rams, Lakers, and Dodgers. In this installment, we're going to be changing things up a bit and we're going to take a look at the career of Max Muncy, one of the more underrated players in baseball today. We'll go over how Muncy went from a former cast-off to the two-time All-Star and the Dodgers legend that he is today. Without further ado, let's go! <laughs> Maxwell Stephen Muncy. Born in Midland, Texas, Muncy attended Keller High School, where he was able to be a standout on the baseball field, which led him to being drafted by the Cleveland baseball team in the 41st round of the 2009 draft. Muncy declined to sign with the team and committed to playing at Baylor University. After two years playing stellar baseball at Baylor, Muncy was drafted in the fifth round in the 2012 MLB draft by the Oakland Athletics. In the minor leagues, Muncy struggled to find his power at the plate, but was able to keep his superb plate discipline he displayed at Baylor. Muncy would be called up by Oakland in 2015, and he spent parts of two seasons with the big league club. Muncy never had really much of an opportunity to contribute on a rebuilding A's team, and the team decided to release him ahead of the 2017 season. Muncy would then sign a minor league deal with the Los Angeles Dodgers, but in the 2017 season he did not reach the big league club at all, playing the entire season in AAA. After the season ended, Muncy debated going back to Baylor to finish his education and receive his degree in business, but he found it difficult not to be out on the baseball field, playing the game that he loves. This drove Muncy to continue to baseball and started the 2018 season with the Dodgers AAA affiliate. After an injury to Justin Turner early in the season, Muncy was called up for the first time in two years and made the most of his new opportunity. Muncy hits an opposite field fly ball, way back to left field. He's left the building for the first time as a Dodger. Just like that, the legend of Max Muncy was born. Max Muncy quickly became a part of the starting lineup after the month of April, and he skyrocketed his game to a level not even he thought was possible. After hitting just five home runs in his first 245 big league at-bats, Muncy clobbered 20, yes, 20, in only 183 at-bats, sending a franchise record for the fastest Dodgers player ever to hit 20 home runs in a season. Not only was Muncy valuable at the dish, but on the field, he was able to show his defensive versatility by manning first, second, third base, and left field that season. This impressive display of power put Muncy on the center stage for the 2018 Home Run Derby. Although Muncy narrowly missed being an all-star that season, he was regarded as one of the best pure power hitters in the league while also demonstrating an elite eye as he posted an impressive 391 on base percentage in his first full season. Muncy's efforts on the field were key to the Dodgers' success as injuries to Corey Seager and Justin Turner limited the Dodgers' productivity on the left side of the infield. Muncy, with his defensive skills, manned third base for over 25% of the games that he played, filling in the gaps both players left behind. Max Muncy would go on to finish the 2018 season with a 263 batting average, 35 home runs, 79 RBIs, a 973 OPS, a 161 OPS plus, and registered 4.3 war according to baseball reference. Muncy ranked among the top 15 in home runs, top 10 in both walks in the National League and overall on base percentage, and top 5 in OPS higher than that of players such as Nolan Arenado, Alex Bregman, and Paul Goldschmidt. His 11.3 at-bats per home run would also lead all of baseball as he hit those 35 home runs in just 395 at-bats. Max Muncy was here to stay, and he officially transformed from an outlier in the grand landscape of MLB to debatably a top 30 player in the entire league. In terms of his home runs, Max Muncy and Manny Machado would be the first pair of Dodgers teammates to have more than 30 home runs since the duo of Gary Sheffield and Sean Green did it in 2001. Max Muncy had zero guaranteed shot that he would ever be able to play big league ball again. But here he was, leading the Dodgers to their sixth straight division title narrowly defeating the Colorado Rockies in a Game 163 tiebreaker. Muncy attributed all these changes to focusing on the tools that made him a top prospect to begin with, being his superior power skills and positional range on defense. All of this would have never been possible if it were not for that of current San Francisco Giants general manager Farhan Zaidi. Zaidi had worked with the A's when Muncy was drafted, and allowed Muncy the opportunity to sign with the Dodgers and showcase who he'd eventually become. Dodgers were looking to continue the success they benefited from the regular season into the postseason, and Muncy was looking to do the same. 
Muncy was not the same throughout the playoffs as he struggled to hit above 200, but he did come through in clutch situations against the Atlanta Braves in the NLDS. The NLCS was very quiet for Max Muncy, but the Dodgers as a team were able to defeat the Milwaukee Brewers and advance to the World Series in back-to-back -back seasons. After being down 2-0 in the series against the Boston Red Sox and playing in what would be the longest game in World Series history, Max Muncy made sure that Dodgers fans would go home Being happy. Almost a game three start. Muncy flies one in the air to left center. Back at the wall and it's gone! It's over! Muncy, a walk-off home run to win game three in the 18th. That would be one of just a couple bright spots in that series, as the Red Sox would go on to win that year's World Series. That didn't phase Muncy though, as his 2019 would almost mirror his power production from the previous season. Muncy would go on to become an all-star for the first time in 2019, and just as in last year, would finish within the top 15 for MVP voting. Muncy didn't post the same flashy numbers he did in his breakout season, but nonetheless, he was able to post a 251 average, 35 homers, again, 98 RBIs, an 889 OPS, a 132 OPS plus, and finished with a 5.3 war according to baseball reference. With that 30 home run season, Max Muncy became the first Dodger to have back to back 30 home run seasons since Sean Green did it in 2001 and 2002. Despite the Dodgers winning a franchise record 106 games on the season, the season overall was a massive disappointment after a first round exit in the NLDS against the eventual World Series champion Washington Nationals. The Dodgers knew if they wanted to make it to the promised land yet again, then they would have to keep Muncie around. And that's exactly what they did, as the Dodgers extended Muncie ahead of the 2020 season to a three year $26 million deal with an option for the 2023 season. 2020 was a weird year to say the least, mainly because of a uh... A certain virus that caused the entire world to practically stay indoors. After a four-month hiatus where spring training was canceled in March 2020, MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred decided to commence the 2020 season on July 23rd of that year. The season would be only 60 games, and Muncie in those games had a season that was, uh, let's say, interesting. Despite hitting just 192 with a 95 OPS+, plus, Muncie did hit 12 home runs and posted an impressive on-base percentage of 331, as he was walked almost two-thirds the amount of times that he struck out. The Dodgers would roll with the best record in baseball, eventually sweeping their way past the Milwaukee Brewers and San Diego Padres to the National League Championship Series. There, they would match up against the Atlanta Braves, where the Dodgers would fall in the series down 3-1. Somehow, someway, the Dodgers were able to claw their way back defeating the Braves in an epic seven-game showdown. For the third time in the past four years, the Dodgers would reach the World Series yet again, with this time their opponent being the analytical geniuses that are the Tampa Bay Rays. After splitting the first four games capitalized by the Rays' walk-off in Game 4, the Dodgers were able to take control in Games 5 and 6, capitalized by a Max Muncy home run in Game 5, and the Dodgers' capability to capitalize off the Rays' decision to take Blake Snell out of Game 6. The Dodgers would go on to eventually win their first World Series title, defeating the Rays in six games, and win their first championship since 1988. Muncy proved to be a very valuable asset for the Dodgers throughout the World Series, as he hit for an average of 318, walked more times than he struck out, and finished with an OPS over 940. 2021 rolled around and Max Muncy went from being classified as a top 5 first baseman to borderline top 15 in the entire league after just one season. How did he respond? By becoming an all-star for the second time in his career, setting a career high in home runs, this time with 36, posting an 895 OPS, a 136 OPS+, plus, and a war just .1 shy of 5, as well as finishing in the top 10 of MVP voting. The Dodgers once again would go on to win 106 games and reach the playoffs, this time making the wild card, their first season without a division title since 2012. Man, we got, man, we, we are spoiled, aren't we? The Dodgers 2021 season could have been a season for the ages. Only this didn't happen. Smith with a running throw, and Muncie in pain as Peterson reaches. Oh, no. Without the help of guys like Max Muncie, Justin Turner, and Max Scherzer, the Dodgers would lose in the NLCS to the eventual champion Atlanta Braves. After the Dodgers signed former Braves legend Freddie Freeman, many speculated as if to Muncie would miss the entire season because of the injury. Muncie has played in 90 games so far this year, 
but his production has declined with just a 180 batting average, a 677 OPS, and an OPS plus of just 88. Despite these struggles over his past seven games, Max Muncy has hit 385 with four homers and eight RBIs with a 962 OPS. From being considered an outcast to making the pinnacle of the MLB landscape, Max Muncy has been through it all, but he has found himself a home here within the hearts of Dodgers Nation.